Hello everyone. So today I'm trying to back up my MacBook Pro. This is early 2011 13 inch. So I'm plugging in my 64 GB PNY pen drive. I'm trying to back up because I want to update or upgrade it to SSD. So I'm using Time Machine. So click on System Preference, Time Machine. I do not know how much space I'm going to need, so I'm going to use 64 GB first. Select backup disk, and there you go, USB. Okay, and use the disk. Erase or don't erase. Are you sure you want to erase? Yeah, this is totally empty, so I'm going to erase. Okay, it's just partitioning the disk right now. Looks like it. I'm totally a beginner. So it looks like it's ready and it's calculating. Next backup is in 114 seconds. I'm just gonna fast forward this. As you can see, the seconds are coming down. We'll see what will happen. I'm just clicking on backup automatically. Let's see. It says auto backup off, I guess. Automatic backup is off. Yeah, clicking on it on again. So it's totally next backup showing when on power adapter. My laptop is not connected, so we'll connect and try again all right now the laptop is connected to the power outlet so let's try again same steps again it's showing the red exclamation or red information mark so i'm just gonna remove this disk for now remove disk Stop using this desk. Okay. And I'm gonna redo it again. So let's see. Let's go to system preference and time machine and select backup disk. And the same one, use the disk. Now it's showing like it shows almost two minutes, so <clears throat> I'm just fast forwarding this. Like I said, I'm a beginner on this field, I don't have any knowledge on how to upgrade or update this MacBook Pro. I did see some videos on how to do it, so based on that, I'm doing this upgrade stuff and i'll put up the video upload the video onto my channel so please subscribe so that you can be notified when i upload that video so let's see what will happen it's five seconds left preparing to backup Maybe if, if you are a beginner like me, this video will help you if you can do what I'm doing or not. There you go, red. As, as you can see on the right top corner, it says backup failed. I think it is saying not enough space. So I will have to use a different disk. I'm going to use the external hard drive right now. It's Toshiba. It's um, one TB but it has my all the stuff in it and according to earlier experience i think we have to erase it and i am not gonna erase this desk so let's see 
as soon as I plugged it in that's what it popped up so erase or not don't erase so I'm not gonna erase it I have another external hard drive 5 TB uh, which is totally blank and I think I'm gonna use that right now this Toshiba 1 TV is not gonna work because I have all the personal stuff in it so I'm just gonna have to use the blank external drive which I just got from Best Buy <laughs> this is the one AG Store WD this is 5 TB I bought this at Best Buy let's plug it in whenever you plug external drives like that I think it just pops up windows asking if you wanna use it as backup device or backup disk so I'm just gonna click there you go so so let's select the disk oh it's already selected so yeah it's showing looks like it shows two minutes all the time whenever we um, connect a new device new disk so i'm fast forwarding it one thing is by now um i'm sure you must have figured out from my mistakes that you have to use the external drive that is fresh that has no content in it and has enough space to back up your macbook pro so don't make the mistakes i made just want to let you know okay preparing backup so i'll be doing the video when i do the ssd upgrade and update and i'll post the video in the youtube like I said, please subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload a video. It's calculating time now. So, just want to say this is how you back up using Time Machine. If you want to do it, I think it's good idea to back up your data, your MacBook Pro or anything. So that you have backup. still calculating time it's taking time it's very slow it's it has regular old hard drive so hopefully it will be fast when I upgrade there you go it says about three hours I don't think I'm gonna be able to show whole process so I just have to say thank you very much for watching and you have a good day like I said I'll upload the video when I do the upgrade or update to SSD